Okay, guys, got a broken bolt right there inside that uh, cast for the intake, and so we need to get that out. So what I've done is I've taken this punch and I've tapped a hole about in the center of it. wasn't quite the center. This is Easy Outs. You can get these at any automotive store. Um, I chose this uh, number two here. It's quarter to five sixteenths. I believe the bolt I'm using is a five sixteenths. So now I've set the drill. It comes with each Easy Out's going to have its own drill bit. Um, if you break those, you're going to have to replace them, which I do all the time. So all I'm going to do now is set that where I tapped it. Try to get that tap smack in the center of the bolt. And now we're just going to drill down a little ways. So we went down about a quarter of an inch, maybe half inch. Go down as deep as you can. However long the bolt is, try to get as much in there as you can. So now the threads on this Easy Out go backwards. I tacked it on this socket so that it stays still because a 4.5 was just a little bit loose for it and a 5 was too big. Um, so, or too tight, I mean, for the 4.5. So, um, now I'm just gonna take this. Now the threads on this are backwards, so it should just thread out. So stick it inside the hole that you've drilled. And then as you, uh, well, let me get it in there. And then I'm just gonna, as I turn it backwards just a little bit, I'm gonna give it a tap, just to try to get it to bite. And then we'll try to pull it out. And then as we crank, remember you're loosening because it's grabbing the threads and pulling it out backwards. So you're not gonna try to tighten it in there, you're gonna loosen it in there and let those threads work backwards until it grabs the threads of the bolt. If you look down inside there, you can see the threads are coming right out with me. A little bit more. And there they are. So this had a head of a bolt on it that it broke off right there. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always guys, enjoy.